Hey there and welcome to Padilla Palace Projects and thank you for joining me to talk about what we are growing spring 2021. I can't believe it's already time to start our seeds, but it is. I'm actually a little bit late. Here I'm in zone 9B and so I really should have started my peppers like two weeks ago. Um, but I'll be starting them here very soon and I'll have a video showing that shortly. But I wanted to go over what I'm growing this year. Um, we are in kind of a different situation. We live in an apartment and um, we have a little space out front where I can have a couple of containers. And last year I did a ton of stuff outside and the apartments have said um, you need to limit what you plant outside now. So um, I actually have some stuff in our garage with some grow lights. And later on um, in the year, I'll be showing some setups and what we have going on. I, it's an experimental thing right now. Um, it gets really hot here. So we're gonna see how this works over the summer. Um, and I'll, as I show you what I'm planning on growing, I'll tell you where I'm planning on growing it. Um, all right, so some of these things will also be succession sowed. So I'll do one and then I'll do another one afterwards. So if you see multiple, um, varieties, that would be why. Okay, so right now, radishes. Um, I was not a radish lover, but um, we have used a lot of radishes. I add them to what I call garden pot soup, and it's just random little things uh, from the garden that are ready to harvest little bits here and there with some beans or some rice. And um, I've been using a lot of radishes. So in the spring, I am doing cool weather radishes, quick these are like 28 day, I think, radishes, so they come up pretty quickly. This is the Malaga, and they're purple, I believe, all the way through. And then there's the purple plum radish. Chinese red meat radish is more like a 55 day variety, I think, it's a little bit bigger. And then the pink beauty radish, which we actually really like. Now. Um, with the radishes, what's great is I use the greens and the um, root itself, so every little bit of it is used. Um, next is beets. I have not been super successful with beets, um, but I'm going to try a couple more. I'm going to try the early wonder again, the cylindra. And the golden beet and then I have fallen in love with turnips um, but with spring I don't want something that's gonna be super long um, turnips and rutabagas are very similar um, I'm gonna be doing the Takanashi Takanashi turnip and um, these are pretty quick like the radishes I showed and I really like the green that's on these okay then um, for all of those, I'll be growing outside. I'm not going to be growing those in the garage. Um, all of those I'll be putting in containers and putting them next to bigger plants. Um, peas, I have sugar magnolia tendril peas. Right now I have these currently trying to grow in the garage. Um, this is the only thing that's blooming. I'm not getting very big ones. Um, I'm trying to adjust my lighting and see if that helps a little bit. But these are super pretty. That You can eat the tendrils or you can eat the peas. And you can eat the peas. So but they're purple. They're really pretty. And then the Wando pea is a shelling pea. I grew this last year. We really liked it. Um, I believe I'm going to do this one outside. And then we're going to get into our beans. Um, I grew this one last year and I really liked it. The Borlotto, Borlotto beans. And um, I ate these as a green bean. I did not do them as a shelling bean. So I picked them young. So I'm going to try some of these again. And these are a bush habitat. The next bean is another bush. Some more fun colors. It's the Dragon Tongue. Um, I grew these last year. This was my husband's favorite bean. And so I made sure I got some more of these and we are going to be growing a lot of these. And I'll be doing a lot of succession planning when it comes to beans. As soon as they start to pitter out, I'll be having new ones going in. 
Um, this is a new one because I like the last four lotto, and this is another bush bean, and it's tongues of fire. So it's almost like a cross between the last two beans. Not quite sure where I'm going to try to grow this one yet. Um, this is a runner bean. It's painted lady. It gets really a uh, long vine. So I'm going to try to figure this out. I have a post out in front of our house that I may try to figure out how to get this to grow up. Um, but these are good as snaps or dry. I'm trying to get grow things that are good either snapped or dry for beans. The next one is my favorite bean um, to use in cooking, and it's actually a cow pea. It's a California black eyed peas, and this is a bush habitat. So I'm gonna try to um, figure out a good place to grow this. I may try to grow this directly in ground, um, but we're gonna see how this works. It can be an experiment. All right, then for onions, I have three types of onions that I'm gonna try to grow. Um, I'm gonna do some inside and outside and I'm gonna use these companion planting. I have to be look up again what these are good to grow with. I think last year I grew them in between my peppers and they were fine. So I may do something like that again. So Globo Onion, I grew last year. Um, I didn't let it grow long enough for um, to get that big, but I really liked it and I really liked the green. I'm also going to try the red Florence. I don't have a picture on this one, but the red Florence is a long red onion. And then also the yellow sweet Spanish. So I'm going to try all of those, just a few of each. And then our squash is also going to be anything, our squash is going to be. Um, succession planted. I'll do a couple of rounds, uh, preserve, and then do another round. So I'll have one winter squash going at a time, maybe two if I can push it. And I'm going to have um, a couple of summer squash going. The plan is to do these outside. However, if it comes down to it, um, I might have to do some inside and hand pollinate. Um, okay, so for the summer squash, I'm going to be trying in my gardener's Black Beauty zucchini. And I'm also going to be trying um, the lemon squash from Baker Creek. For winter squashes, um, I'm going to have the spaghetti squash again i really liked this last year and this is my daughter's only squash that she will eat and then i got two different um acorn squashes but i found this one on in my gardener that was a bush so this is the one i'm gonna grow and if i have to try it in the garage i will do that um but i love acorn squash it's one of my favorite squashes and then um we're going to do the New England Sugar Pie Pumpkin for our pumpkin this year. And I'm hoping to be able to find a way to be able to do the Long Island Cheese Pumpkin. I'm hoping, but I might be pushing my luck. The next thing I'm going to do is a variety of carrots. I'm just going to, throughout the seasons, I'm going to keep putting carrots in. As soon as I harvest them, I'm going to put more in. And I'll be putting radishes in between so the radishes I can harvest before the carrots before it would interfere with the carrots so I'm going to show you all the different varieties of carrots I'll be growing throughout this year um, Danvers half long is on my list to try um, I heard this is a good canning carrot black nebula coyote coyote red which is supposed to be a really sweet carrot this one's new to me, Long, Long Vu Rogue Sang. I'm probably saying that totally wrong, but it's really pretty. It's got a lot of cool colors in it, and it's supposed to keep its colors when you cook it. This one doesn't have a picture, but the Nantes um, Scarlet Carrot, Amarillo Carrot, Lunar White, and then the cosmic purple, which is the purple on the outside, orange on the inside, and I believe it loses its purple when you cook it. 
Um, I did grow the Cosmic uh, Purple before and it was a lot of fun. Next, we're gonna jump into peppers and all the hot peppers are gonna be grown in the garage um, because we do get hot. I'll have fans out there and um, I'm gonna keep them all in the garage. I'm growing a ton of hot peppers. I actually don't eat a ton of hot peppers. Um, I have gotten to the point where I can add jalapenos to some of our recipes, but I am planning on making hot sauces, um, preserving some of these, um, and trying a few different things. My husband likes some of them. Um, we pickled some last year. So I just wanna utilize the space I have in the garage, and I really believe the hot peppers is gonna be the route to go. So um, I'm gonna show you all the varieties, which I have a ton, that I'm gonna be growing. Um, black Hungarian pepper. It's about the heat of a jalapeno. Lemon spice jalapeno. Now all jalapenos are start off green and it's when they ripen they go to a different color. So these will be green and then ripen to the yellow. And then the Craig's Grande um, jalapeno, which I grew last year, uh, this one ripens to a red color. Dos de España is a big pepper, and um, this we're going to use for like stuffing and roasting and things like that. We're also going to be using the poblano for that. It doesn't have a picture on it. Sugar Rush Peach is hotter than a jalapeno, and um, this is one that I'm planning on using for a hot sauce. Red Marconi. Serrano. This is going to be used for all kinds of stuff. Jigsaw I'm growing because look at that foliage. It's super pretty. Um, most of these peppers we have not tried before. We've tried a few of them, but most of these peppers we have not tried before. So this one I'm growing because it's super pretty and I want to see how my husband likes the flavors. And this will tell me what I should grow again in the future. Arrows con polo is supposed to be not, there's not a picture on this, but it's not supposed to be super spicy, but this is supposed to be really good dried, um, using it as an herb, a seasoning, I mean. And then shishito peppers. Um, I have a few recipes I want to try with the shishito peppers. So those are all the hot peppers that will be in the garage. I have a feeling that I'm going to be adding in um, banana, banana peppers and Italian pepperoncinis into the garage, just on the opposite end of the garage. Those are milder. They, for the most part, are not hot. Um, and then these sweet peppers are going to be outside. I'm planning on growing one of each. I'm going to do the habanada again. We really liked this pickled. Last year I grew up next to hot peppers, and even though they're not supposed to be hot when you grow them next to a hot pepper, uh, it's supposed to affect the seeds for the following year. Um, we did get a couple later in the season that were hot off of the same plant. So this year we were doing sweet outside because of limited space outside and hot inside the garage. Sweet chocolate is a brown bell pepper. Uh, Corbachi sweet peppers were really good. These were great just for snacking last year. Um, and then the lilac bells we really liked. So those will all be, those four will be outside. I'm going to try to grow one of each of these cucumbers. Um, this is the lemon cucumber and the miniature white cucumber, which is for pickling. And then the tomatoes, I'm going to be doing an experiment and I think I'm going to try these two in the garage and actually these three. Two in the garage, one inside the house, three in the garage, one inside the house and four outside. And the tomatoes are primarily what's going to be my big items outside. Um, so cream sausage is a determinant so it's only going to get a certain size. I'm going to try that in the garage. And I'm gonna, I need to get that started early because by the time it gets super hot in the summer, it'll be too hot in the garage for them. Uh, Martino's Roma tomato. So that's another determinant. So I'm doing that in the garage. And then ground cherries I'm gonna do in the garage. They're like a cherry tomato to a, a, a tomatillo. I'm gonna do Bonnie's Best again. Um, 
this was a really good producer for me last year. They were all pretty much the same size and I really liked these as fried green tomatoes. My cherry tomato is gonna to be the Berries Crazy Cherry this year um, because I think I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck off of that plant and for my space. A tomato, the Dr. Witchie's Yellow Tomato is my gonna be my big slicer. And then um, Amish Paste will be my one that I try to grow outside. It's an heirloom. All of these ones will get about six, seven, six, seven, eight feet tall. So they need to be outside. And then my one I'm growing inside, which I currently have in my garage right now, I'm trying to see how it does over the winter, is the orange hat tomato. And it's a little dwarf cherry tomato. So I'm going to try to grow that in front of a window over here. So next we're going to look at herbs and uh, lettuces and um, then flowers. So I had my daughter and my husband's help picking out what we wanted to try to grow. So our family is a big basil family. Well, my husband and I are big basil eaters. Um, we absolutely love basil. Last year um, I tried a bunch of different basils and um, fell in love with some of them. Um, this year we're going to grow, like that is going to be like in every single pot. It's going to be next to everything. Um, so in every tomato planter in, I'm going to have it all over the place. I probably will try to grow some in the garage and some um, outside and see the difference. But I'm going to go through our uh, basils and which ones we're going to grow. I'm going to tell you which ones we're for sure growing and which ones I'm going to try to find space for. Um, so the Siam Queen Thai basil, I am going to try to make space for this. It's a new one to me and it's um, supposed to be a clove scented basil. I think that would be really good um, as a tea or as a spice. Also cinnamon basil. Um, this is a Mexican variety and it's supposed to have an anise flavor to it. Um, I think this would be good for baking as well as for um, tea as well. So I'm gonna try to make room for that. The one that I will absolutely find a room for is the blue spice basil. This is kind of like vanilla scented. Um, it is smells delicious and I think it's great in a tea. Um, I really, really, really love this one. Lime basil. I'm going to try to make some room for. Um, I'm either going to for sure do lemon or lime basil and these ones I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to try the lime in uh, like salsas and stuff if I can't get my cilantro going because it doesn't like hot cilantro doesn't like heat so um, I want to try this in place of that over the summer and salsas. The mamola basil is a great um, Italian basil and I really like this it was very it was bushy but it was also compact and I got a lot off of this last year. Thai sweet basil I'm going to try to make room for this year. This one is a licorice taste to it. Lettuce leaf basil was one of my husband's favorite. Um, he wanted this on all of his sandwiches. So we did a slice of tomato and a big old leaf of, leaf of lettuce leaf basil on all of his sandwiches in the summer for work and he absolutely adored it. So we're gonna for sure be growing that. Emily basil is another Italian basil. It's super compact. The, the, Leaves are smaller, um, so I want to make room for this again. Plus, my daughter's name is Emily. Lemon basil is the other um, citrusy one that I'm going to grow, and I really want to use this for making, um, for scenting homemade vinegar that I want to make for the first time this year and use it as a cleaning thing. It really smells like a cleaning thing to me. If I have room, I'm going to do the dark purple opal uh, basil again, and I really just like the coloring of it, and it tastes good, so. All right, that's all the basil enough. I have actually more than that, and those are the only ones I'm going to try to grow right now. Um, I am growing broadleaf sage. I'm going to get try to get moss curled parsley going shortly. If I have room, marjoram. Lemon balm I'll be growing this year. Korean hyssop. I really want to try to get catnip growing this year. Um, and then 
Scarlet Kale is what I'm going to be starting again to try to go outside. It hasn't been working in the garage, but I think it's my lighting. I have Ragged Jack Kale and um, Scarlet Kale trying to grow in the garage, and they're trying, but my setup has been a little off. Um, and then the two lettuces my husband and my daughter picked are the Paris Island Cost Lettuce and the Butter Crunch Lettuce. Both of those I got for free through Baker Creek. And then the flowers we're going to grow, um, and this is going to be a variety throughout the year, and um, I'm going to be plugging them in wherever I can. Oh, sacred basil, which is also um, Tulsi holy basil. This one is a good adaptogen, and so that's another basil we'll be growing this year. So calendula um, is one that I will absolutely be growing. The two colors that we are going to try to plant are strawberry blonde. I really liked this. I used it in my soaps last year. Um, and flashback calendula, which is another one that has the lighter petals on the front and darker on the back. Um, the other one we're going to be growing is the uh, Agastache, I think. Agastache, Agastache. I'm going to do the Texas Hummingbird Mint and the Navajo Sunset. Navajo Sunset I had growing um, last year. Absolutely love it. It's kind of citrusy and minty. It was great. Hummingbirds really, really love it. And then this one is good for um, making mosquito repellent and so forth. So I have a feeling, and it's a hummingbird mint, so I think these will be good for bringing hummingbirds into the garden. Um, then we have some zinnias. I'm going to do a whole variety of zinnias. Um, I have Will Rogers that I'll be doing. Queen Lime Red. I like like the vintage looking. And the Queen Lime Orange. So I can have some cut flowers inside. The sunflowers I'm going to try to do this year are the Hoppy Black Dye. My daughter really wanted these ones and the giant white seeded sunflower. So we're gonna go super dye and there's no dye. The other flower that I have been growing every year, which is edible, um, both the leaves and the flowers are edible, is the nasturtium. Um, this year my daughter picked the Alaska mix, which is a pretty orange corally color. Um, it says red, yellow, and orange flowers, so we'll see. Right here, it just looks like orange. I'm gonna try to grow a little later in the season so it's ready for fall in the ground. Love lies bleeding red amaranth. Um, right now, I have some poppies trying to grow, but they're not taking off, so we're gonna try them again. Uh, my daughter really wants the blue bread seed poppy. Um, which you can actually use the seed from this in the um, for cooking. Pansy Sweet Giants. Um, these will probably, if I don't get these soon, then they'll be for fall. Um, and they're edible, which is great. I do want to try to grow some Feverfew to um, save seeds for medicinal teas. And then um, up a trellis, I'm going to grow the Thai double blue butterfly pea and I'm growing this specifically just for me for fun for me to enjoy uh, the pods are not edible the pea pods but the flower is used for dyeing um, foods drinks and if you add citrus to it it turns it from a blue to a pink so um, I just even if I only get one little line going um, I'm gonna have a spot for that so even in an apartment in a little spot that's a whole lot of seeds for me to be starting and trying to grow and so you can do a whole lot in a really small area um again i'm only going to have a few pots outside so i have to companion plant and i'll have in the same pot as tomatoes which is a bigger pot i will have a um, flower and an herb and have stuff with it and make sure i'm watering accordingly throughout um i will be companion planting carrots and radishes um, the beans I will be planting back at one, back to back. Um, I'll have the beets and the turnips and so forth. And, and I'm trying to grow things that even if I don't succeed at a root, I can at least eat the greens. And so radishes, beets, turnips, um, even carrots, you can eat all the greens off of those, which is great. 
Um, so that's kind of my plan. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos uh, this year. Um, I have seed starting videos coming out. I will be doing how to tell what zone you are and so forth. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell and um, let me know what you are growing this year in the comments um, or if you have any advice for me. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.